Welcome to the channel, ladies and gentlemen. My name is the British Eagle, and today we're diving, flying, soaring into another episode of Dragon Quest A Journey of the Cursed King. Now, you're probably thinking, British, why are you in this battle with a Hollow Knight? Well, I'll tell you why. It's because I decided after the end of the last episode that I did want to find what's called Lonely Joe. Lonely Joe is a special Hollow Knight that we need to defeat to complete the Mori's uh, requirements. Oh, was this not it? Yes, the Hollow Knight rises up again. This is Lonely Joe. Yes, we found it. So I didn't want to show you guys all the traveling and stuff to get here. I figured that'd be too silly. It would take a little bit. So I figured we'd just start right here. The Hollow Knight looks at the party with respect. Send the Hollow Knight to Mori's place. Yes, please. So today's episode, that is how we're starting off. We've got the third and final memo completed. So let's go ahead and cast our Zoom spell. Um, and let's go to where Mori's place is. Now, one thing I'll tell you guys as well, I've read all of your comments from the recent episodes. Uh, you guys are caught up to me as I'm recording this in terms of where you're at with episode. Oh, I never noticed that this door here. Well, I'll check to see if I can go through it, but I thought I couldn't. But anyway, reading the comments, you guys did answer a bunch of my questions. So I want to address them really quick before we talk to Mori. So one, it sounds like from what you guys have said that unfortunately I chose a very unfortunate... Uh, choice in terms of what I made an unfortunate choice in terms of weapons I a lot of people do like the bows and they like the uh, clubs the problem is is that as I've pointed out just playing the game myself it's very blatantly obvious that there are not a ton of upgrades for those weapons I personally would like to stick with what we've been using but if we're not going to get any upgrades, that kind of defeats the purpose of having excitement for new cities and towns and, and all these places to buy equipment because, well, there's just not a whole lot going on. So, one of you did tell me that what I might want to do is I may want to focus on Beagle getting to a certain thing uh, with skill points for boomerangs. And then after that, I could just equip a sword and focus on swords and charisma or courage or whatever he has. Um, Yangus, I think people mentioned also maybe switching over to something else. I'll see as I go what I want to do, but I'm honestly not entirely sure. Also, someone did let me know the bubble yum or the bubble gum, whatever it was. That gives like what, double or 10 times experience. So it only lasts for 10 battles or something like that. And uh, I want to use it when I grind later on and kill sl metal slimes. So I will do that. Uh, but yeah, let's finish this up. Ah, so it's you, Ragazzo. I knew you'd come to see me today, Ragazzo. The winds, they bring your scent to me. You do the good job for me. Now it is my turn to do it for you. You will not be needing that memo no more. Here, let me take it for you. Eagle gives the final memo to Mori. I can sense the fire burning up your eyes, Ragazzo. I can sense your hidden potential, your gusto, your passion. So let me show your appreciation by taking you inside. I know you've been wondering about this place, eh? Ah, oh, so finally we get to go in. Alora, follow me. Y yeah, I'm... I don't think we can jump off there, so we'll just go down. Okay, so I was wondering, I noticed when we got here, I was like, oh, I forgot about that door, but I guess it's not able to be opened until we complete Mori's request. So let's see what's inside. What does Mori have in a house like this or a building like this? Ragazzo, behind this door lies a world you cannot imagine. This will be a day of remembrance for you. Prepare to be dazzled. But not too much, eh, boys? <laughs> no. I come to see your face, Miri. My bellissimo flower. Oh, Flattery will get you everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> That's my girl. Va bene. 
It's this way. I'll be waiting for you in the bottom. Wow, I love the music to this. Um, one thing I want to ask you guys, because I'm very curious to get your opinion on this. What are your thoughts on me using a sword for boss fights and upgrading the sword? And then using boomerangs for individual fights where there's several enemies. I'm wondering if that actually will make sense for us. Um, I don't know how that's going to work. If there's enough skill points for me to be able to unlock everything. Um, I'm a little surprised that like... There has to be enough skill points to l unlock all of it, right? In case you want to switch between different weapons. I mean, I plan on leveling up pretty high, so I could also, I guess, just farm skill points, right? Like, if I find those blue chests, I could just do that. But, I don't know, I want to hear your opinions on it. I, I don't really know the best way to do this, and I'm, I'm struggling now that I think about it on what to do, but we'll see. Hmm, pardon, sorry, I'd rather not talk now. I'm somewhat down at the moment, don't really feel like having a chat. <laughs> Mori told me I had talent, you know, so I thought I might have a bash. But I haven't managed a single victory yet. Talent, <laughs> I'm utterly useless. Oh, a bash, interesting. I wanted to take part in this underground tournament so badly, I had no choice but to get in via the back door, so to speak. Oh. It's cost an arm and a leg, I can tell you, but now I find out I've got to pay to become a team owner as well. It's so frustrating, I can't wait to get in the ring. Interesting. So this is a, is this like a tournament place? A, a, a coliseum ring where you'd fight? There are two types of people in this place. Those who use their wealth to buy their way in. And people like you who Mori just decides to invite out of the blue. Most fall into the first category, though. Interesting. So not everyone is on Mori's good side, okay. Mori's so handsome at any time of the day. <laughs> I get entranced by his macho magnetism every time I look at him. Okay, interesting. Mori hasn't brought anyone new here for ages. I wonder if you've got what it takes. Oh, I'm so excited, I can hardly contain myself. <laughs> I'll let you in on a little secret, lad. I've got more than 60 scouts working for me out there finding monsters for this tournament. Mind you, I still don't get the feeling I'm going to win. I'm in danger of bankrupting myself at this rate. Victory just comes down to luck in the end, but you can steer your luck to your advantage. Persistent training and solid tactics will pave the way to glory. This place might be small, but we've got everything here. Like honor and glory to satisfy your wildest dreams. Look around. Enjoy. Uh, take as much time as you want. Okay, interesting. So we, I guess we just head downstairs. All right, let's do it. Is there, is there something back there? No, okay, never mind. Oh. It is a monster arena. This is cool. Okay, I like this. You're not leaving out already, are you? No, you don't have to go. You don't want to go before you have, you've had some fun. Of course you don't. You just can't. No, no, no. You just go and have a word with Mori, all right, darling? Then you and me can have a little natter. Oh, oh, hello. <laughs> okay, then. I'm busy. Don't bother me unless you're in trouble. Okay. I released more than 40,000 gold coins from the estate to purchase a Skull Rider from a Monster Scout. Yet the results are most unsatisfactory. I suppose there must be a problem with the composition of the team. Interesting, so all these people own teams. Alright. Hey, it's this guy. I was living on Beggar's Alley in Pickham this time last year, but now look at me. I got loads of dosh. I've got Mori to thank for that. He could see I had talent. I owed a charmer, that's for sure. Ah, oh, interesting. Okay, well, before we talk to Mori and whoever's next to him, talk to you and everyone else. I finally persuaded Grandpa to buy me my own team, but I can't get any of the strong monsters I like. How am I supposed to win without strong monsters? I don't know. You might have to bid on me. Hmm. I'm busy. Don't bother me unless you're in trouble. Okay. Man, if further I've met, ever managed to get is the second round of Frank D. 
mind you, that was more than 10 years ago now. My money just doesn't seem to buy me strong monster these days. Okay, so they're buying monsters. Interesting. I'm curious how this works. Go on it and take him out! This is the Monster Arena check-in counter. I'm afraid I can't do anything for you until you're the owner of a team monster team, sir. Perhaps you'd like to come back when you have one. That's fine. I'm just checking out the area. Hold on. Yeah, go on. Give it some welly. <laughs> I love it. However rich the people in this place are, there's no one here who can look down their nose at Mori. He runs the show after all, and he's the owner of the strongest monster team in the world. Ooh, I like that challenge. Okay, all right. So we're back to square one. Okay, so now let's go talk to these this guy right here. Mori's the only man in the whole world who can revive dead monsters. Yeah, he's quite something. Hi. You'll be amazed, eh? This is what I wanted to show you, ragazzo. Can you feel it? The sights! The sounds! The smells! Of Mori's monstrous appeal! <laughs> Scusi, my flower. <laughs> yes, the sights, the sounds, the smells! of the three monsters fight heads to heads. There are seven different ranks for your team to try, eh? And this is all you need to know. It's simple, no? So, ragazzo, you are wanting your own team, eh? Yes, I do. <laughs> I knew you would say yes. But the rules say you will need the 200,000 gold pieces. Now you know why this place is full of the rich people, eh? So, ragazzo, can you pay the man? Definitely not. That is way more than I expected him to ask for. Sorry, I do you wrong. I should never have asked you such a question. Excuse me. I explain what I mean. The 200,000 gold pieces you need for to have your own monster team, I will make the payment for you. But, naturalmente, I not give it to you without no wires attached, eh? There are conditions. You must swear this one thing. You must swear to fight your way to the very top of the monster arena. What do you say? Can you swear it? Do you have what it takes? Can you conquer my monstrous pit? Then it is decided, ragazzo. From this moment, you are the owner of your very own monster team. Beagle becomes a monster team owner. Very nice. So, let's get straight down to business, eh? First, you will need a good, strong name for your team. An intense name that shows the, the, the passion. If you cannot think of a good name, I can do it for you. So, you want to name your own team? Yeah, let's do it. You want to choose your own name? Let's see what you got, eh? It must be 18 letters or less. Alright, so I mean, this is pretty easy, right? We just go with, um... Uh... Actually, you know what? For anyone who knows me and watches me on streams, uh, I am typically talking about Taco Bell. 
and I gotta be honest with you, I think it's perfect that we call this, our team is the Taco Bell, Taco Bellers. There we go, the Taco Bellers. There you go. We are the Taco Bellers, guys. If you don't know um, from any of my previous videos, my collab series I do for Pokemon or my live streams, Taco Bell is a big thing, so we are going to call ourselves the Taco Bellers. <laughs> this is perfect. Yes. It is okay? That's your name? Where is the Forza? The Bralado? The passion, eh? never mind. It will do. So, ragazzo, you have named your team. Now, you must think of the team members. At first, your team will consist of the three monsters you found for me. Lonely Joe, Squiggles, and Smiles. But, of course, you will never reach the top of Mori's Monsters Keep with such a team. <laughs> You need to find the stronger monsters during your travels to make your team better. And remember this. The strength of the monsters in the team is also affected by the strength of the team owner. But that doesn't mean you will have the strong team just by being the strong owner. And the monsters are not like the humans, no. They don't get no stronger by fighting more. In some other words, if you want your team to be better, you must swap the team members for the stronger monsters. That's right. Your mission is to search the world for powerful monsters. Add them to your team and make it stronger. Build the ultimate team and rise to the very top of my monstrous pit. That is the thrill, the ecstasy of the Monster Arena! The ecstasy of the Monster Arena! Uh, Mori, I think everyone heard you loud and clear the first time, darling. Okay. Ah, <laughs> scusi, scusi. I just thought it needed more gusto. But anyway, you will need this. Beagle receives the monster arena key and puts it in the bag. Now you can enter in the arena whenever you want and take part in the championato of my monstrous pit any time you like. Go and talk to the man at the center counter whenever you want to enter the pit. But if you want to be smart, you talk to some people and get the information first, eh? I look forward to seeing your gusto, ragazzo. Buona fortuna! Okay, interesting. So we have this as an option to come back here and do this. Now, obviously, from what I heard from people, it was costing them a lot of money. So I guess there's some money involved in terms of doing this. I'm not going to do this right now, and this might be a mistake, and you guys can let me know in the comments what you think if I should just rush into this. But I, I understand what I need to do. I need to collect more monsters that have those uh, emblems over their head, like the three that I got from Mori originally. So now that we know how that works, I think we'll come back here, but probably not right now. We only have 12,000 uh, gold as well, so I'd rather progress the story. Um, let's go to Princess Minnie's Castle. We're going to zoom there because I did read the comments as well. And you guys did tell me that the place that I went to in one of the previous episodes when I left the island here and used the uh, took the boat to go over to uh, the area where I basically got bodied. Um, apparently, that's actually where I'm supposed to go. So I'm a little surprised, but I guess that's where I need to go. Now, good news is when I did get almost entirely wiped, and I don't know if I showed you guys any of that. I think I cut that out. When I did, I didn't lose, so I didn't lose all my gold. I was able to run away with Yangus. I also was only level 18 and 19 back then. Now I'm level 24, 24, 22, and 22. So there's a chance that we're better off now. But apparently it's just a hard part of the game, and apparently you just have to progress there. So I know where to go. 
I'm also going to use holy water to make it easier so we don't actually get to battle as many monsters. So I'm going to turn around, and apparently we are supposed to go this way. Uh, the other thing you guys told me in the comment section, outside of the holy water and going in the direction I went already, is that apparently as well, um, the... Oh, I just lost it. I just lost it in my mind. Well, the holy water was good advice. Thank you for that. Um, I'm going to consider looking into the sword idea. I mean, don't get me wrong, my boomerang's still doing good damage. Um, I'm actually just gonna attack, attack. We'll go bang, and we'll go swoosh on the sea urchins. But yeah, I, I don't know, I'm a little torn on the weapons. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little disappointed with it, and I think some of you have agreed with me and, and you understand where I'm coming from. It's not that I don't like the boomerang or the, um, the uh, the club it's the fact that the game i guess for some reason doesn't give many options which really is surprising because my experience with dragon quest 11 as i think i mentioned in a previous episode was that when you got to a new town or a new city or, or wherever you were going oh real quick that's what you guys told me and i just remembered it i can land anywhere i don't need to wait for a port or like an area for the boat to dock i can just land wherever i need to i just have to touch the land i guess uh, but what I was gonna say was like, yeah, I don't know, like, when I, in Dragon Quest XI, like, it's hard to compare the games, they're two different games, they came out at different periods of, the, of time, but they, in Dragon Quest XI, I could choose whatever weapon I wanted to go with, and if I went with that weapon for that character, there were tons of options, it didn't matter what weapon it was, it was just, they always had an upgrade, or I shouldn't say always, they typically had an upgrade, and so boomerangs were one of the things I missed out on in Dragon Quest XI. I didn't really use them until, I want to say, like, the end of the game, basically. And so I figured in this game, part of the reason I didn't go with swords for the hero, and I decided to go with the boomerangs, is one, because it hits all the enemies, which is awesome. But two, I decided to go with it because I was like, well, let's take advantage of the boomerangs. Apparently they're awesome. But I guess in Dragon Quest VIII, that's not the case, so... I will, I will definitely think about it. Um, right now, it's not really a problem, so I'll just stick with what I'm using. Although, I probably will look at buying a sword in the next town we go to, and I'll probably equip that to Beagle. But again, that'll be just an item switch when I get into a boss fight. Alright, good damage, Angus. Good damage. Alright. Yeah, we gotta be really careful when we get into this next, uh, when we get to this land and we continue and, and hopefully don't die, we've really gotta be mindful of, like, health and MP and all that stuff, so, uh, we'll, we'll give it our best shot and we'll see how it goes, but. Nice, two enemies are defeated, I'll take that, swoosh. Okay, that's fine. Spiking yourself up. Yeah, and then obviously the psych up I need to work on. I know I need to try that out and, and continue to push with that to see if I can get the max, but we'll try that at some point. Oh, they dropped in a uh, file of armor, Seco Essence. Nice. I think the holy water is still working for us, so we should be okay. I'm going to go with heal, uh, beagle, heal on Yangus. Yeah, I'm going to keep a close eye on Jessica and Angelo's health because... We're in a part of the game where it just seems to be that it's there's a difficulty spike. Uh, last episode, we went over there and we explored. Um, I actually did a little bit of grinding off screen. And I was able to get myself to the, what, 12,000 gold? Yeah, 12,000 gold. Uh, I didn't really do much. I just went to the island where we saw Marcello again. And uh, battled a bunch of enemies. And they were the gold, um, the gold golems, I think. So... Okay, so this is where we were last time, and there's a treasure chest here. I remember that. I didn't grab it this time when I reloaded my game file. Actually, ooh, iron helmet. Hold on. Okay, iron helmet. Oh, we already have one, don't we? Uh, so we got the monster arena, so that's HP. That's fine. Um, okay. So let's, uh, let's do this. Let's go into our bag really quick. And let's see, Copper Sword is only 13 attack. Armor Scythe, Edge Boomerang. I need to look at all the swords that are available. We may not have purchased any more, so that might be the best one. We have a Soldier Sword. Oh, that's only 8. Ooh. 
Uh, I guess I could... Uh, Templar sword. That's what we need. Okay. I'm going to transfer the double bubble out of our out of Beagle's bag because I don't think he needs that for right now. And then um, I guess what we could do for Yangus is we, is we could switch out and go into axes. It just sucks because we put all this time and energy into... Uh, into the the hammer or the clubs which i thought were going to be useful but apparently they're not because there's like zero upgrades for them but okay well let's continue from here let's um let's head this way there's a slime crown there there's a guy defending the corner there all right oh that guy's gonna be tough but if we catch him we'd be able to get um We'd be able to get him on our team for the monster arena. It might be worth it. This could be a bad idea, but I'm really nervous about this area. Because every time... Oh, gosh. All right. They're too stunned to move. That's good. Let's go Firebird throw. Let's attack. Uh, crackle. And do we have anything different? I'm going to go Kabuff. Just because I'm really nervous about this area. This is where we almost wiped. All I did was I stayed in the front by the boat. Because I think I was trying to do grinding or something. And I ended up almost losing my entire team. It was really bad. Yeah, I'm in a kabuff. I probably don't need to. I'm like four levels per person higher than where we were before. So it's probably fine. But yeah. Attack. Crackle. And we'll go swoosh. Nice, good job. We're taking out the bells pretty easily. Okay, so yeah, we're definitely, we're in much better shape now. That's good. 297, 98 gold. Okay, cool. All right, thank God. I want to get this guy. If we can get him in the monster arena, that'd be massive. I'm a little worried. Uh, the king of Dumbri Dumbrira, too stunned to move? Perfect, I'll take that. Uh, let's go ahead and go with... Uh, let's just attack... Heartbreaker, Puff Puff, and let's go with Kabuff. Oh, come on. The king has got to be lured in by the Puff Puff. You know what I'm saying, Puff Puff? He's not interested. All right, well, we Kabuff. That's fine. We should be okay now. Hopefully. 33, good damage. 42, not bad. Did we make him miss a turn? We did. Nice. Okay. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to switch to the Templar Sword. Wait. No, 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 no. Hold on. Wait, wait. Equip. I can't equip it? Oh, well, whoops. My bad. Uh, we will go with... I guess I'll go with a spell. Uh, let's go with the Oomph on Yangus. And I will go with... Uh... Let's go Dazzle. Let's try that and see if it works on him. Ah, starts to hallucinate. Nice. Cast oomph. Uh-oh. That's bad. Seventy-four, nice. I probably should should psych up. I know that that's a thing I want to do with the bosses. So let's go ahead and um, let's psych up, psych up. I'll oomph for Beagle, and I will kabuff again. Can't hurt to kabuff again, right? It, oh, it takes no damage. Wow, that's great. This guy's probably a piece of cake, and I could have killed him by now, but I'm just so stressed about this area that I'm, like, overdoing it. You know what I mean? All right, so now we just go straight up for an attack. An attack. Uh, we go... Wait, what was sap? Sap. Ooh, reduces the defense of the enemy. And then we can go whoosh. Dodged again? Really? Okay, maybe this guy's not as good as I thought. 24. We'll lower... Oh, it's not affected. Wow. 111. Nice. 135. There we go. All right. Okay, so let's psych up again. 
Uh, let's go Sizz and Whoosh. Psych up again, fellas. Psych up, let's go. Takes no damage. What is happening? Is he just not willing to fight? Okay, I don't know. I don't really understand, but I'm going to attack, attack, Sizz, and whoosh. Oh, we got it. Okay, yeah, so we could have just attacked for like three rounds and we would have been fine, but all right, cool. Drops a try. Oh, we got a copper monster coin. Nice. Rise up again. Look at that HP. Oh my gosh. The King of Dumbira looks at the party with respect. Do you wish to add him to your monster team? Yes. You already have the maximum number of team members allowed. Please select the monster to release back into the wild. Uh, ooh, who do I get rid of? Uh, I guess I'll go with Smiles. I don't know. Hey, we got the King of Dumbira, aka Dumb King, joins Beagle's team. Well, we'll take that. Okay, let's go ahead and heal because we got to be very safe about this area because I'm still very concerned. Oh, I did not mean to heal the 1 HP for... I guess I didn't mean to heal the 11 for you. Okay, yeah, that was pretty silly. That's fine. Let's keep going. What else we got around here? Is this even a place... Oh, the effects wore off. Okay. That's fine. We should be okay. I'm not overly worried. Um, I think we'll be all right. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, my goal right now is not to come here and grind against monsters. I'm here really to look for the items, see what we can explore uh, and find as we explore and see what's here. Uh, let's see, any items? I mean, obviously I'll fight enemies that are around here, but uh, no. There's a ghost there. Oh, there's a metal slime. Oh, did I just lose it? Oh no. Oh wait, there he is. Is this a metal slime? It is, right? I could definitely do with... Oh, my God. This has to work. Hold on. I don't think any of this will hit... Will kill. Unfortunately, I don't think I do any damage. You know what? I could... Oomph. For Beagle. And... Uh, do any of these hit... Uh... I think Sandman's arrow worked on... Oh, I can hit four. Oh, no, I can only hit one. Never mind. No, please don't. Doesn't affect them. Never mind. Yeah, that was silly. Man. It's not... This isn't going to work. Yeah, I'm never going to... I can't hit... I can't hurt them. Oh. Okay, we got two damage off. No, that's the one I got damage on. Dang it. I, I don't have... I know how this works, but, like, I don't think... Yeah, we're never going to be able to win this. I guess we just attack, 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 and attack, and hope that this works. Yeah, smoothly dodges. Sandman's arrow dodges. Dude, why? I, I wish I had an attack that could hit these metal slimes, but I just don't. Okay, I did one damage. That's... Good, I guess. I did one damage and they're gonna flee now. Yeah. Can I hit one of you, please, and kill? No damage. Okay, I got one damage. No damage. Yangus? We actually killed one! Let's go! 1350 experience and 8 gold? I'll take that. That's better than no experience. Oh, man. I Okay, so literally, if I just regularly attacked, which I know that, but, like, I was trying different things out to see what would work and what doesn't. Oh, man, I've got to remember that. Okay, what is down here? There's a little cave. There's a red monster walking kind of funny. Um, What do I need to do again? I can't even remember where we're supposed to be going. Hold on. Let's talk to the party. Hold on. If the past is any indication, I can't imagine that Dalmagus would choose to hide himself in a deserted place. We should go to the nearest town and ask around. I think that's the best way to find him. Judging from the map, this continent is very large indeed. Tracking down Dalmagus over such an area will be something of a thankless task. No, no, we must have a plan. 
Oh, yeah, that's right. It's a famous casino town somewhere on this continent, ain't there? Okay. If past experience is anything to go by, wherever Dolmagus goes, he takes a person's life. So there's a good chance he's wrecking havoc in the towns and castles here, too. Okay, so we need to go find the nearest town or, or wherever. I think I see it on the map. Um, there's a bridge here that might lead to... So oh, there's a monster right there. Okay. Do we cross the bridge or do we go back? Because looking at the map, if I follow... Sorry about that. I had to sneeze. Um, if I follow the path, this path, it'll lead me to a town, I guess. So I guess let's follow the town path first. I... I Yes, I'm not really sure, but we'll give it a shot. All right. Let's follow this path and see where it leads us, and then we can always come back if we want to check out that cave. Uh, okay. Man, it'd be great if I could fight a bunch of metal slimes right now, or or ones that actually don't run away. <laughs> no. Royal Hunting Ground, Northern Checkpoint. Okay, well, I'm going to go to the Northern Checkpoint. Gotta be some stuff around here. Ooh, what's up here? A monster. Is there a treasure chest up here? Or is that just where I came from? I think it's where I came from. Okay. Well, let's go around here, see what's in the area. Is there any items? No. There's a checkpoint up here. No treasure chests. Okay. Uh Oh, there's a bridge here. All right. I'm just checking around here. Sorry, guys. I'm, I'm just looking around to see what I might miss or... What I might have not seen yet. Okay, so a monster. Nice. I'm glad we actually got a new monster for our monster team. I means hopefully... Ooh, a new knight. Uh-oh, he's fast. Uh, I guess I could fight a knight. Oh, he's turned away. No, I'll fight you. That's fine. Why not? Let's get some experience. Might as well. Okay, some shades appear and lethal armors. All right, so let's go ahead and right off the bat, firebird throw. Attack. Bang. And swoosh on the lethal armors. Okay, it doesn't do much to the shades, but that's all right. Okay, good, good. 16 damage on Beagle. That's not the worst. 16 again, that's fine. 44 is a lot. Okay. 43 is also a lot. I would like you guys to calm down. Good damage. Wow, I'll take that. Okay, attacking Beagle over and over. I don't agree with this, guys. Uh, spells again, bang. I'm actually going to heal here because I'm a little nervous about the health. So I'm going to go with healing Beagle. Because Snooze? No. Really? Our main attacker who hits all of you really hard? Wow. Angelo, heal. I was like, I was sitting there. I'm like, uh, can we heal, please? Okay, we got rid of one of the shades. Okay, good. Oh, man. All right, so attack. Mid-heal. I'm going to heal again because I'm a little nervous there. There we go. Good job. We took out the lethal armors. I'll take that. That's great. Oh, we got backup. Okay, that's interesting. All right, so let's just attack, attack, and we'll go with swoosh. Oh, she woke up. Nice. Perfect. Well, the lethal armor shouldn't be able to put her back to sleep, obviously, because they're gone. So, should be fine. Another backup? Wow. Okay. I mean... Uh, let's go with Crackle this time, and we'll go with Swoosh again. Still, not much damage, so M uh, Magic does not do much on the Shades here. Interesting. There we go. We got rid of one of them. Can we finish this last one here? All right, attack, attack, Crack, and Swoosh. Or Crackle, sorry. Okay, so far we're not getting wrecked in these fights, but I can definitely see how bad it was before with how low we're getting on health currently, even though we're in a pretty good 
place for uh, for levels. I think we are. I, it feels... I definitely feel better off than I did before, so... And don't worry, guys. I'll continue to grind and stuff, especially when we find metal slimes. Uh, so it was this way, yeah. Okay, so a big area over here to explore. Are we... Cl oh, wait a minute. Hold on. I've gone away from the, um, the town. How do I get to that town now? Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Is that town where we came? No, it's definitely not where we came from, right? Hold on. Let me backtrack because I want to go to the town that I see on the map here. But I'm not seeing how to get there. So I would have to go... Oh, I think I get it now. Hold on. So we go... Sorry, I should have followed the map a little bit better. So we go this way, and we have to actually go off to the right? Oh, is it up here? Oh, oh, get away from me, Shade. Get away from me. Is it up here? Oh, it is. Oh, okay, cool. All right, so it's this way. Interesting. Okay, my bad. Sorry, guys. I did not notice that it was actually this way to get to the next town. Oh, it's right here. Ooh, okay. Now, what's down here? There's got to be a hidden... There's not a single item. They just put they just put this little area to trick you. All right, so let's go around. I want to see if I can find anything around here. So no items, no treasure chests, no nothing. Okay, cool, got it. Um, all right, here we go. Hmm. Is that a castle? Let's see if my memory serves me correctly. This must be. Yes, it's the kingdom of Argonia. In any case, there's no way the princess and I can enter the kingdom looking as we do. We have Dual Magus's treachery to thank for that. All the more reason to find him and put an end to his schemes as quickly as possible. I'm not about to let Dual Magus's hellish curse Cheat my daughter of a match made in heaven. Interesting. So we... Okay, so he knows about this place. Well, guys, I think I'm going to call it an episode right here. And in the next episode, we'll explore this castle. Hopefully, there's some, you know, cool items or weapons or armor or something to buy and more people to talk to and, and progress the story. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I will catch you guys in the next episode. But until next time, I'm out. Peace.